Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 13, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full video uh, with all the uh, commodities and precious metals that are available on basically on Etoro. So the link is down below. You can also get access to our signal service and also our online trades. So you're welcome. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and uh, the last three trading days, it has been appreciating. It has been an absolute pain um, to be trading while well, this has been appreciating. But now it looks like we have run, run into resistant at the 90.71 and now we're heading back below the 20 exponential moving average. So at the target at this point are these previous lows, so at 89.15, and after that we are going significantly lower. So if we break this, we are going all the way down to these lows here, so 87 and, and below that. And that will have major implications, for example, on stocks, indices, um, commodities, precious metals, and so on. They will uh, become more bullish as there's a negative correlation between the US dollar index at a US dollar and, and commodities and precious metals. So when this falls, you will see a massive movement, for example, in uh, currency pairs as well, like the British pound, uh, Great British pound and US dollar has appreciated significantly today. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. So, so this is not looking really good for the US dollar index at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So we have rallied, and this is basically one of those effects that the US dollar index has had on, on the markets. Uh, we have been rallying all the way since the beginning of November. We went from 33.75, and now we're trading at uh, 53.11. A ridiculous rally. To be fairly honest, it has nothing to do basically with demand. It is pure uh, speculation in the market. Most of this was basically vaccine news, uh, then stimulus news, and uh, and uh, partially also a depreciation of the US dollar, and then a lot of OPEC news and so on. At this point, I would not be surprised if this fell off a cliff all the way down to 39.21. That is basically at the 20 exponential moving average. If we look at the Bollinger Band, for example, you will see what I mean. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We fell a little bit yesterday, not enough. Usually when oil gets outside of the bullish band in the bottom or on the top, it has a really, really violent um, uh, reaction to it. For example, here we fell all the way from uh, 65 all the way down to uh, 49. We saw it here where it fell from 33 all the way down to uh, 60, and uh, 36 and so on and so on. So expect a pullback towards the middle here. So pullbacks are buying opportunities. Um, this will be a really nasty fall for, for oil. I would not um, recommend anybody buying oil at this stage because you can get horribly burned um, by doing that in this at this current stage, at this price level. It's not like I'm not saying that it's not going to go higher. It is basically needs a massive pullback similar to this. So a pullback roughly uh, of, um, of uh, $4, that is very likely. Technical indicators are becoming flat. Um, so yes, we just need some kind of news in order to get this market to go much lower. We are at 73 here in RSI. It is also significantly overbought. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, we have rallied towards the top of the bullish band and then we crashed. So whether or not we are we are basically trading underneath the 50. So if we were trading above the 50, that would be a lot more encouraging, but we are not. We're trading underneath the 50. But I think that we're just going to see more of the same. So we have fallen, rallied, fallen, rallied, fallen and rallied again. I think we are heading back towards the lower part of the bullish band, roughly for 2.4. Uh, that is basically where I think we are going. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. The RSI, the MACD uh, are both becoming negative. CCI is still bullish and MACD is still bullish. 
but this is not a very good indication that you um, pull back this um, aggressively when you hit the top of the Bollinger Band. So I would not be interested basically um, in trading this until we basically pull back from the from the 200 moving average or we basically break the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper has also been basically all over the place um, today. We were outside of the bullish band here, fell quite nasty, uh, aggressively and then rallied um, from the uh, 20 exponential moving average. At this point, we are most likely going back towards the top here of the bullish band, and that is 3.669. Uh, uh, um, a pullback towards that 20 uh, will mostly be a buying opportunity as it has been major support for a very long time. So if you wanted to basically enter, the, enter this market, you'd have entered it here with a target of these previous highs. Technical indicators for this are, well, they are fairly mixed. The uh, MACD is big and negative, the stochastic is negative, CCI and the uh, RSI are bullish at this point. There's a lot of room to the upside, so this market can go much, much higher. So let's look at gold. So we may see gold rally from here. And the reason for that is because the US dollar is starting to um, depreciate again. We are right at the uh, 200 moving average. So this is probably uh, as good as it can get if you want this to rally from here. So the 200 moving average and the bottom of the bullish band, both of them are looking like they are um, supportive. We have these technical indicators that are turning around. There's a lot of room to the upside. So the target here will most likely be, be these previous highs. I can put a rough line right here. This area will most likely be the highest in this market. So um, give or take, roughly 1953 uh, there's where you should expect uh, major uh, resistance in this market if you if we manage to break above this then we're heading to 2000 and after that to 2100 um, 200 moving average we have tested it twice now we have not broken significantly through uh, basically rallied from it so that is a very encouraging sign so a stop loss underneath here with a target of this round area here that is uh, most likely what is going to happen at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So we have pulled, uh, we have rallied from the 50 moving average and it's very similar to gold. We have a top here that we are most likely going to test again. That's at roughly $27. And uh, at the moment we're trading at $25, so uh, roughly $2 up. That's where we'll find uh, resistance. If we manage to break through this area, which is fairly bigger than this, then we're heading to the very highest here. Taking indicators are turning around, so it's very likely that we are going to go higher. Um, if you trade this to buy it, I would consider having a stop loss right underneath here in order to um, minimize your risk if it goes the other way. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we have rallied from these lows. So we hit the um, support here at uh, 1005, and now we are at 1074. So a fairly big rally today. And it looks like that this is just now is ready to go higher. We may pull back a little bit towards the 20 exponential and then head back to these previous highs. Technical indicators are turning around, so that is a very encouraging sign for this. As the US dollar also starts to depreciating this should also continue higher so let's look at pallium so as you can see we found resist uh, support here at the 50 moving average it it looks like we are about to turn around here the target would be first the top of this bullinger band which is 2.462 after that these previous highs and we have not managed to break through these previous highs for a really really long time now so uh, 2.516 uh, is basically the highs in the market expect a lot of resistance if, when you get there 
And if we break that, then we're going significantly higher. We have just been trading back and forwards uh, constantly. A break below the 50 opens the door to these lows here at 2.266. Technical indicators are turning around, so it do, and they basically do favor the upside at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. You're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.